You've experienced the beautiful fall foliage of New England. There's nothing like it. But have you experienced a gorgeous rose gold summer sunset in the ultimate coastal playground? With miles of vanilla and sand beaches, wooded trails, lakes, and natural estuaries, Cape Cod is one of a kind. We invite you to come along with Trailways Travel this June 3rd through the 13th as we head for this perfect northeastern summer getaway. Board one of our luxury motor coaches, meet your friendly onboard host and driver, then sit back and enjoy the ride. We overnight in Toledo, Ohio and Syracuse, New York as we make our way northeast. third day, we arrive in Cape Cod to meet our local guide. Cape Cod is known for its quaint villages, seafood shacks, lighthouses, bays, and ocean beaches. Enjoy an included dinner at a local restaurant before we settle into the hotel. Enjoy an included breakfast and then meet our local guide in the lobby and then as we head out for a full day of touring. We will travel along historic Route 6A, known as the Old Kings Highway. It's a scenic byway that winds through centuries of Cape Cod history, and it's such a really pretty drive. You'll have blue inlets of Cape Cod Bay on one side, and white picket fenced houses on the other. Old Kings Highway winds past hundreds of historic structures. These all characterize the area's early development. View the Easton Windmill, a Cape Cod lighthouse, which oftentimes is the one that's on the Cape Cod potato chip bag, and visit the Cape Cod National Seashore Visitor Center. Sand dunes in the ocean surround you as you approach Land's End, Provincetown. You are now at the extreme tip of Cape Cod. Formerly known as the Province Lands, the seaside town is on the side of the Mayflower's Landing in 1620, commemorated by the towering Pilgrim Monument and neighboring Provincetown Museum. The Pilgrims landed here first before they decided to settle across the bay in Plymouth. Take some time to enjoy the wonderful variety of restaurants, shops, and galleries that make this artist and fisherman village so very unique. Provincetown is known as a longtime haven for artists. Numerous galleries, plus restaurants, nightclubs, cabarets, and specialty shops are clustered around and on Commercial Street. We will be having some time for lunch here before we're off for an adventure. You can choose to board an excursion vessel for an amazing experience of whale watching. Travel into the natural habitat of a diverse marine environment, including birds that migrate here from all over the Atlantic, and fish which use these waters to feed. An onboard naturalist will introduce you to everything you see and will answer any of your questions about the whales, birds, fish, and even the lighthouses. Now, if you should choose to stay on dry land, you'll have the opportunity to ride through the protected lands at the Cape Cod National Seashore. This is the largest protected coastline in the country. Your guide will point out the dune shacks where famous artists and writers became inspired to create their art. Dinner will is included tonight before we return back to the hotel for the evening. After breakfast, we meet our local guide at the resort before departing for the Highline Docks where we will be boarding the ferry to the island in Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard is primarily known as a summer colony and it is accessible only by boat and air. Once we arrive on the island, we will be boarding a local bus for a sightseeing tour. Here you'll learn about the rich history and lifestyles of the islanders as you pass through Vineyard Haven. We continue on to Egerton, where there will be free time for shopping and to enjoy some lunch in this historic whaling town. Egerton was one of the primary ports for the whaling industry during the 1800s, where ships from all over the world would dock in its sheltered bay and captains would build grand mansions for their families with ornate top floor rooms called widow's walks. These overlooked the harbors. From these ornate widow walks, a myth was developed that wives would watch for months on end from these tiny rooms, hoping to see the sails of ships that would bring their husbands back home to them from the sea. Complete your day of touring on the island of Oak Bluffs. It is known for its gingerbread cottages and other well-preserved mid to late 19th century buildings. 
originally part of Edgerton, it was officially incorporated as Cottage City, but it was renamed Oak Bluffs as the town was the site of an oak grove along the bluffs overlooking Nantucket Sound. Take some time to stroll through the Cottage City with its brightly painted cottages and all of the decorative gingerbread trim before we arrive back on the mainland. This evening we'll have another included dinner. After breakfast, we head off to New Hampshire. Here we'll be meeting a local guide for a fun day of touring in a beautiful state known for its quaint towns and large expanses of wilderness. We arrive at the Omni Mount Washington Hotel for a tour of this luxury resort. Grand was broken in 1900 and it took two years to fully complete. They brought in over 250 Italian craftsmen which were housed on the grounds during the construction. It's a favorite New England retreat of presidents, poets, and celebrities. The hotel delights every sense with enchanting music, refined dining, and luxurious decor. The hotel has been host to countless celebrities, including Thomas Edison, Babe Ruth, and three U.S. presidents. After, we arrive at the Mountain Club for a gondola ride to the summit of Loon Mountain. Board the four-passenger enclosed gondola and enjoy spectacular scenery as it carries you to the 3,050-foot top of Loon Mountain, right in the heart of New Hampshire's White Mountains. Enjoy an included dinner buffet this evening before we head out for another adventure. This time, it's an evening moose tour. Summer is prime time for moose sightings in this area, and although we might very well see one while out traveling on our own, we are going to have an increased likelihood of a real moose encounter. This tour also will provide a glimpse of New Hampshire's most remote areas. Our first stop this morning, after having a full breakfast buffet at our leisure, will be Rock's Estate in Bethlehem. Rock's Estate is best known as a popular New Hampshire Christmas tree farm. Beyond the neat rows of Christmas trees lined by perfect stone walls, lies a world of history, wildlife, and experiential learning. Here you will enjoy a presentation of Gardens of Yesteryear. Join us on a virtual tour of some of the finest summer estate gardens of the North Country, circa 1933. After this one-of-a-kind presentation and tour, you'll get to take a wagon ride through the Rock Estate Christmas Tree Farm. You'll have time for the gift shop afterwards, where you can purchase gifts or enjoy a tea or maybe grab a coffee to go. These beautiful fields of lupins blooming is a time-honored regional event. The brilliant spikes of the lupin flower carpet local fields and pastures in a rolling sea of vibrant purples, pinks, blues, and whites. The long-lasting blossoms attract equally dazzling butterflies and create a breathtaking floral display against the majestic backdrop of the Franconia, Presidential, and Kinsman mountain ranges. Our local guide will make sure you have ample time for some great photo opportunities. We then will make our way to the Café Lafayette dinner train. Escape the ordinary and relive the romance of dining on the rails. Experience this while riding in one of three beautifully restored Pullman dining cars while enjoying five courses of fine food served to you in a grand European manner. As dinner is served, period music keeps time with the rails rhythmic rumbling punctuated by the haunting wail of the engine's whistle. We start off our last day of touring in New Hampshire with a visit to Fadden's General Store. This is an authentic old-fashioned general store. It's been family-owned since 1896. They have an on-site maple sugar house, which is a five-time winner of the best maple syrup in New Hampshire. You'll be having some time to browse through all the local things, the souvenirs, and the area's largest selection of maple syrup and maple sugar productions. Be sure to find the whole little room that's filled with nothing but barrels of true penny candy, and you can fill up a small sack for just mere pennies. We will begin our return back to the Midwest this afternoon, and we'll be overnighting in Syracuse, New York this evening. Enjoy breakfast at the hotel this morning before we depart and make our way to Northern Indiana's Amish country with an overnight stay in Middlebury. This evening, you'll get to enjoy an Amish-style dinner buffet at the famed Das Dutchman. Make sure you leave room for some pie. The next morning, we make our way back to Iowa, stopping for breaks as needed, as well as a stop for lunch. 
sit back, relax, and reminisce of an amazing time spent in the Cape Cod area on this wonderful summer escape. This includes all the transportation on one of our luxury motor coaches, the hotels, 15 meals, and admission to all of the attractions that were highlighted and shown on the presentation. This 10-day, 9-night tour is priced at only $1,800 per person double for Trailways Traveler Club members and $2,375 per person single. We ask that non-members please add $50 to that price. There's only a few seats left on this great summertime tour. Please give us a call soon to reserve your spot at 319-753-2864, extension 162. Billy will be waiting for your call.